Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm leaving house in three days so please excuse the bare face because I just do not have time for makeup right now but I wanted to film this video for you guys before I start packing everything up. As I'm sure some of you are aware we are moving into a new house on Saturday, this Saturday as you're watching this which I'm so so excited about. We are renting but the place is completely unfurnished so I've had to go pretty much all out with the shopping which I've not been mad at because I don't know about you guys but I absolutely love homeware shopping and that's why I wanted to film this haul for you you guys because I also love watching people's homeware hauls. I've been debating on how to film this just because honestly I'm surrounded by stuff as you can see there's a box here there is just stuff everywhere I have so much to get through but I think I'm just gonna like quick fire go through everything and obviously I'll tell you where everything's from but I will also link as much as I possibly can in the description down below so if you do see anything that you like either leave me a comment and ask me where it's from and I'll get back to you and give you a direct link or just have a look down in the description because hopefully there'll be quite a lot there. So I think I'm gonna start with the kitchen stuff first just because it's the closest thing to me right now so firstly we went to ikea and i picked up three of these little cereal containers i did go for the smaller ones just because we don't eat a lot of cereal so i don't want it to go stale or anything but i picked up those also from ikea i picked up three of these really cute little plant pots i thought these would look really nice on the kitchen windowsill with some fake plants in because i kill real plants so they're gonna have to be fake a random cheese grater from ikea because it was one pound 75 and that was an absolute steal i then picked up loads and loads of tupperware from asda it was so cheap then i also grabbed a pack of tea towels some more Tupperware. I got these freezer bag clips from Ikea. And then I really struggled to find mugs anywhere. Like I just couldn't find any that I loved. And I still don't think I love these ones. But it's a mug. You're going to drink your drink out of it. It's not the end of the world. So I did get these clear ones. Which are from Asda. I can't remember how much they were each. But they really were not that expensive. And I just love the shape of them and how big they are. So I got four of them. And then also from Asda I got four of these little kind of like geometric grey ones. Again these were super super cheap. But I just liked that they were a little bit different. And then from Ikea I picked up this cute little biscuit tin i think i'm gonna do the classic little oreo trick in here just because it looks really cute on the side of the kitchen so yeah that is exactly why i got this this was like four pounds which i thought was really good also from ikea i picked up this little jar with the cork stopper i think these look really cute for juices on like a sunday morning i'll probably only use this when i can be bothered to do that and then ikea are so good for their glasses because they are so inexpensive for what they are so i've been struggling also to find gin glasses but literally everyone in our family is a massive gin fan so i knew i needed loads but i went for these massive wine glasses instead just because I love the shape of them and I just thought they'd be a little bit different so I picked them up I got four of those and then I also got six of these little kind of standard drinking glasses these will just be for like soft drinks or water or whatever people want then also I got this cute little carafe because this was like one pound and again you can use it for juice or what it's meant to be for which is wine which is probably what I'm going to be using it for so also for the kitchen the kind of idea that I have for the kitchen table I don't want just like a standard low level kind of kitchen table I want to get a bar height table just because at my my parents house we sit at like a kitchen island to eat our dinner so it means we're always like sat higher up and I don't know why but I've now just like got used to eating like that and I really like it so for our kitchen diner area I do want to get like this white bar table I'll put a picture on screen here of the one that I mean so you guys can see my kind of vibe that I'm gonna go for but I'm gonna get that and then I also want to get some gray like suede quilted bar stools which are gonna come when we actually move in so that will be in later videos but I picked up these little faux sheepskin rugs from Ikea these are literally like 10 pounds each they do do like fluffier ones which are better quality and they do feel a lot nicer but i'm kind of thinking these are going to go over the bar stools so chances are they're going to get food on them like i didn't want to spend a ridiculous amount so yeah for 10 pounds i just picked up four of them for each stool okay we're through one box and i already need a coffee break Sticking with kitchen stuff, I picked up this dinner set, which is also from Ikea. This was like £27 and it's got six pieces of each plate and bowl in here, which is great. Then to go with that set, I got some pasta bowls, I call these. I'm not really sure what the technical term is. It's a bowl, but I picked them up in the same colour as the set that I got. Then I only managed to find a couple of storage boxes, but I bought these for the fridge just because I want to like make it really organised and keep it really nice and clean. They're just easy to pull them out and fully clean your fridge when you need to. So they're going to come in really handy, but I do need to find lots more of them. They were from Dunelm. Then also from Dunelm, I picked up these really cute little tea, sugar and coffee tins. The colour of them are literally the colour of our kitchen. So I think these are going to go really well on the side. Then to go with those, I also got the matching biscuit tin, which is also from Dunelm. We popped into B&M quickly and I grabbed some pink Himalayan salt just because... 
I don't really know why it was there and I picked it up. <laughs> Again, from Dunelm, I got some scales. These were literally like £10, so I'm not sure how long they're going to last, but you always need a good set of scales. More glasses. I picked up these little porn star martini glasses. I mean, that's what I'm going to be using for, I think. These are actually meant to be like little champagne glasses, but I've nailed the art of making porn star martinis at home, so I got four of these. Also for the kitchen, this is going to go on the side just for like bits and bobs. I just like to keep everything kind of contained, so I got this from Asda. Asda are great for homeware, let me tell you that. So a couple of other things that I got from there is this toaster. This was £16. £16 for a whole toaster. So yeah, as you can tell, it's just this cute little cream one. We keep our toaster in the cupboard anyway, and we just get it out when we need it. So I wasn't really fussed about what colour it was. Then from B&M, I got a toasty maker. Of course, the essentials. I love a good toasty. So I picked that up. That was only £13. So cheap. Again, for food storage, I picked up two of these massive boxes from Ikea. These are going to go in the cupboard with like crisps and sweets and chocolate and stuff in them. I'm running out of places to put things once I've showed you guys. And then I grabbed a kettle. This was from Dunelm. I got this c3 one just because it's a little bit different and yeah i thought it was kind of cute so i grabbed that um... okay so then also i grabbed this little dishwasher set we have the tiniest kitchen sink in the world you guys will see in the vlog but to me, the kitchen sink seems really, really small. So we don't have that much space to store like the washing up. So I picked up this in B&M because I thought it'd just be really handy. Then in Asda, I got a filter jug. We have a pretty hard water. So I wanted to be able to keep some filtered water in the fridge. So that would be perfect. And then also from Dunelm, I picked up this massive saucepan. It was nine pounds reduced from 18 pounds. So that was an absolute bargain. Not for the kitchen, but I did get a wash bin from Dunelm. That was like three pounds. Also from Dunelm, I got this marble chopping board. We had this in our fridge flat but we kind of soaked it in water and one day it just snapped in half so we got another one and we're not going to soak it this time so then i also got two little chopping boards these were from asda i think that might be it for the kitchen i mean it's probably not and i'll probably find something else as we're going through this but now i'm going to move on to bathroom stuff but first i'm going to have another coffee break Okay, so like I say, we are moving on Saturday, so you will see all of the rooms in the house tour that will hopefully be with you on Sunday. But we have an ensuite in our master bedroom, so I got a little bathroom bin to put in there. You'll kind of see a running theme throughout this entire hall that everything is grey, black or white just because that's the theme that we like and it suits the both of us. So that's what we've gone for. From Asda, I picked up this little soap dispenser as well as a matching toothbrush holder, which I literally can't find right now. So that will pop up somewhere. Then from Asda, I got a bog brush. Everyone needs one of them. From Ikea, I grabbed two of these little suction shelves. So I'm thinking of putting these in the shower to store like our shampoo and everything like that. I grabbed a bath mat from Asda. No, B&M. There's the toothbrush holder. Then I got two of these bath sheets from Dunelm. These were on offer. And I think that's all I've got for the bathroom. Oh no. Okay, so I'm not sure how well you can see, but I also grabbed this. This is gonna go in our main bathroom. We have three toilets in total. So that's three toilets I'm gonna have to clean, which I'm not too happy about. But we do have a main bathroom upstairs, which I'm gonna put this in because it doesn't have too much storage. And I thought this was kind of cute. So hopefully you can see it, but it's basically one of those like ladder shelving units. This is from B&M and it was 20 quid. Also, I forgot about this one. I do have some random candles in here too. They were from Dunelm and they were literally like one pound each, but I picked up this little basket from Dunelm too. This was eight pounds and I'm gonna use it as a toilet roll holder because I thought it'd make it a little bit cuter. So yeah, that is what I got for the bathroom. Now I feel like everything's gonna be a little bit miscellaneous, so please bear with me. So we have an under the stairs cupboard, which is absolutely massive, but I wanted a place for us to store our shoes. So I got these from Ikea and you can basically stack them on top of each other. So I got four of them and they were literally like three pounds each. I got this, which I literally can't pick up to show you right now, but it's a washing line for the garden fun stuff i told you this was going to be really miscellaneous so i got these two little tea light holders these are from Dunelm. they were 10 pounds each which is kind of expensive for a tea light holder but they do feel like really nice quality and i'm going to be putting these on our coffee table in the lounge i'm getting one of those quilted round footstools and i want to put like a blanket over it and a little tray in the middle and i thought these would be really cute on the tray then for brad's office he didn't ask for this i don't think he even wants it but i saw it in hasda and i thought it was really cute i got this little stag head again it's like a kind of geometric design then for my desk i saw this in dunelm and it's basically a little wooden star and it says always believe that something wonderful is about to happen i thought that was really cute and a nice 
nice little quote to have on my desk. This is going to be quite hard to show you because the glass jars are in this little box, but it's basically a candle holder. I thought this would look really nice outside. It was only £15 from Dunelm. And then in terms of furniture, I'll quickly run you guys through what I picked up from Ikea when we went the other day. I'll insert pictures here on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. But I grabbed myself a dressing table that was, I think, about £90. It seems like really good quality, literally everybody under the sun owns that dressing table and then I got two desks for the office obviously one for me and one for Brad and I'm gonna have them like facing each other hopefully if they fit because they're really wide and I can't remember off the top of my head how wide the room is so I'm just hoping they fit you can wait for that in the vlog and we will find out together but I grabbed them they were 80 pounds each finally for the lounge I picked up one of those like shelving units which are all squares again I'll insert the picture so you know what I'm talking about but I'm gonna lay it on its side on the back wall in the lounge so what I have here are the little fabric baskets that go in it so you basically just pop these out and they're like little cube storage boxes so we're gonna put them across the top I think of that unit and then have some really cute things on top I mean believe it or not we actually have so much more homeware shopping to do we are going to lakeside on friday to one look at a sofa and also to see what else we can find we have a lot of filling to do but we just kind of want to move in and then see what we want to buy and just go and buy it then but that is the furniture that i got from ikea i think i'm onto the final box but i actually can't believe that because i feel like this has gone way quicker than i thought oh I do have a couple of things behind the sofa. So for the lounge, I grabbed these grey curtains. In the lounge, we have the back door that goes out to the garden. So I just wanted something to frame that door a little bit and make it look a lot less bare. So I grabbed them from Asda, actually. They were super cheap. And then from Dunelm, I grabbed some bedding. Again, grey shop. We have the most gorgeous bed arriving, which I cannot wait for you guys to see. Obviously, throughout the moving process, it is a long process. So I'm going to be doing like house updates so you can feel as involved as possible because I know that some of you are so excited. So I do obviously want to document the whole process for me to look back on as well so you will be seeing all of that in an upcoming vlog Whew, need another coffee break <laughs> Okay, so then finally, I went into B&M yesterday. I've done all this shopping with Brad's mum, so huge shout out to Nick. She probably isn't watching this video because I know she doesn't watch them all the way through. So if the next time I see you, you've told me that you've seen me shouting your name out, then well done because you never usually sit through my whole video. But yeah, love her to bits. She has helped me out so much with all of this stuff. But anyway, we went into B&M the other day and I just went a bit mad on the whole cleaning product front. I don't know about you guys, but especially cleaning like a new build, is the best thing ever because it just is so satisfying let me know down in the comments if you want to see like clean with me videos because i don't know i kind of like them i know they're quite an acquired taste and some people just think what on earth are you watching but personally i find them really satisfying and i like kind of snooping around someone's house so yeah let me know if that's something you want to see and i would definitely be happy to do those but this is going to be a pretty random haul from b&m because if you've been to b&m you know how random it is you could be walking down one aisle and there's like tomato soup on your left there's a suitcase above the tomato soup and there's like garden lights on your right that's the kind of vibe that it is so yeah this is super random but i got four of these little sponges everything is super cheap as you can imagine as well then i picked up some clothing pegs for my little washing line of course i picked up two little of floras i say little i got the biggest box of the linen fresh scent and then i also got a box of the lavender scent believe me that collection is gonna grow when i've moved in then i got some astonished bathroom cleaner don't ask why i think i actually meant to put this back because i'm going to be using the website e-show i don't know if many of you guys have heard of that but you can basically buy like cleaning products deodorant toothpaste everything in bulk so yeah there was no point in me buying that because i'm just going to do that when we actually move in i got two little minkies if you follow mrs hinch you know what these are but they are actually great so i grabbed two of them then a pack of three little duster cloths i got some of this shaken vac this smells unreal this is the magnolia and vanilla scent and it just smells great in a weird way it just reminds me of my nan's house i don't know i just find that really comforting so i grabbed that and I've just dropped it. Then I got some Lenore tumble dry sheets. I always see Gemma Louise Miles stick these down like the side of her sofa and it works great. And I love the smell of clean washing. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing with them. Oh, this is in here. So I got this from Dunelm. It was reduced to like £2.50. It's a p pimento, p pimento, pimento, I don't know, and cedar room spray. Not going to lie, it smells like a man but I quite like that smell. So that can sit in the hallway and I'll just spray it when people are coming over. Then also from B&M, I got this little twin pack of the like life scent spray things. You know, the things that you put in that thing that's automatic and it sprays nice smelling things out of it. We have one of them upstairs and we've run out of these. So I got two of the linen ones again. My favorite smell on earth, especially in houses, is like fresh linen, hence why 
literally all of that is. So then also in B&M, they have so much bedding, which I didn't actually realize. So I got a Deluxe Collection Super Soft King Fitted Sheet for our bed. Then I also got one of the jersey bedding ones because if you don't know about jersey bedding, get to know because it's literally the most comfortable thing ever. I mean, it's probably not great for this time of year because it is a little bit warm, but it's just so cozy. Like it feels like you're sleeping in a t-shirt, which is just great. So again, I got a King one for our bed and then I got the matching pillowcases and I also got the matching pillowcases for the cotton bed sheet. Then randomly in here are a couple of boxes of wax melts. I got these from Asda. They have such a huge range of the Yankee Candle ones. And personally, I think that these ones smell the strongest. So I have a little wax melt upstairs, which of course is coming with us. So I just got these two scents. This one is pomegranate and coconut and it smells unreal. And then I also got the cozy up scent, which basically just smells like fresh linen, of course. And then finally from B&M, I picked up this little wash bin. It's like this kind of velvet material. I just thought it was kind of cute and it was eight pounds. This is gonna live under the stairs and it's kind of gonna be like our overfill for our washing because me and Brad go through clothes like no one's business. Like we have so much washing constantly. So I did get that and I am also on the lookout for a nicer wash bin for our bedroom. The final thing that I picked up is a spray mop and it's over there and I'm just debating as to whether I can reach it right now because there is so much stuff in front of me. Bear with me. Okay, got it. <laughs> so I grabbed this. I just thought it was going to be so much easier because we don't have that many tiled floors to clean. And I got this from Asda and I think it was like £15, if that. So again, really good price. Okay, so from what I can see and what I can remember, that is everything that I've picked up so far. I feel like something just fell over and I don't know what it was. Everything is like very precariously balanced around me right now. So I just don't want to move because there's a lot of glasses and knowing me, I'm about to break something. But yeah, as you can imagine, there is so much more for us to get for the house. But like I say, we're just going to kind of move in and make it a little bit more homely as the days go on. I say that, but obviously, as you can tell, I have already bought so much stuff. Thanks, plane. That is a loud plane. Oh, also I grabbed a bin from Ikea. It's over there. It's just like a bog standard white bin. So I'll put a picture on screen so you can see what I'm talking about. But it's over there and I literally can't reach it right now. But yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. As I pick up more stuff over time, I will definitely be doing more homeware hauls. Also, don't forget about the house tour that's going to be coming on hopefully Sunday. As I'm sure you guys can appreciate, we are going to be moving in. So it's going to be a little bit hectic. But obviously, I want you guys to see it as soon as possible. So I am going to be filming that literally as soon as we get the keys. And then I'll try and get it edited for you guys ASAP. So subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that. And also, if you don't want to miss out on the upcoming moving vlogs that are going to be coming very, very soon, I am going to vlog this entire weekend and yeah I can't wait to finally be in it feels so surreal right now I feel like it doesn't even feel like it's my life like it doesn't feel very real I don't think it's going to feel real until I wake up in there but yeah I am going to wrap this video up here because I'm aware that it's probably half an hour long by now so thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will speak to you all very soon in my next one bye guys please pray for me because I'm now going to sit here and spend three hours packing all this stuff up into its boxes ready to move yay <laughs> Thank you.